August is done, bro. August is done, bro. Before I get into the downward spiral of thoughts, let's get right into August's PlayStation Vita homebrew scene. Oh yeah, before that, what's going on guys, Dr. Root 7 signing in. So let's start with, to be quite honest, August has been a bit calmer as compared to the other months because the last seven months on the PlayStation Vita homebrew scene have been radically overpowered and there's plenty of proofs on my channel so you can take a look let's start with the major event that happened in the month of august we got a ds emulator update on my previous monthly ps vita monthly video i mentioned about a working ds emulator work in progress still very 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 rough around the edges we got the first update for this emulator so that's progress i would rather wait for a couple of more updates for it to get more stable but hey progress is progress and it's actually progressing at a very good pace the fact that we're getting a ds emulator is enough said bread yes we got a bread game i, I don't know what to say man you just make bigger breads yeah, it's kind of it kind of gives me that Tetris kind of vibe. You drop this these smaller doughs or smaller I don't know these breads or pastry looking things, and then they join and turns into another type of bread. Pretzels. What the what the fuck is going on? I I can't for the love of God figure out how to play this game. Pretty sure there's plenty of you guys who would be able to if you want to. You can just download it directly from the Vita DB app. All of these games can be downloaded through the Vita DB application through your PlayStation Vitas itself, which is very much convenient. Except some games that require the game data files, but I'm here to guide you when it comes to those. Vito Hildiad, I I can't I can't I can't pronounce this man. It's it's a localization tool. This application allows you to install a complete ukrainian localization for the ps vita system i mean i i don't have much idea about this you can install it and try it out if you want to are you a single motherfucker who can't pick what? up or talk to chicks in real yes. life why are you zooming into me? then why this game is for you neat date girl night for the ps vita a visual novel that will allow you your awkward ass to pick up pixelated girls through the screen just download and install the vpk for the life of god this game is also not working for some reason i don't know what's going on i guess i can't pick up chicks neither in real life nor in virtual life when i hold on hold on every problem has a solution and i'm gonna show you guys by doing what i do best so tutorial time we're gonna set this dating sim up and running you know what i'm saying so let's get right to it okay so after installation of the game you're gonna head over to the link in the description and download the gui.rpy file no need to download the vpk file because we already downloaded and installed the game next would be to gather the game file so this is the, this has to be the windows version of the game please do not ask me where to gather these game files from so please be a good old chap and fuck off okay so depending on where you have gathered your game files from it's going to come in a rare format i just extracted the game files now here comes the folder inside that extracted folder you're gonna see a bunch of files and subfolders now we only need the game subfolder now head over into the game subfolder and look for the gui.rpy you're just gonna delete that file copy the game folder connect your playstation vita using vita shell click on view show hidden items it's going to show a bunch of hidden folders we're going to look for the app folder once inside the app folder you're going to look for ngdn000 this folder head over into that folder and paste the copied game folder over there game folder has been copied and pasted time for the final step we're just gonna copy our downloaded gui.rpy file and head back into our destination game folder which is basically the playstation vitas memory card uh, where we just pasted the content inside the pasted game folder you're going to paste this gui dot download a gui dot rpy after that disconnect your playstation vitas exit out of vita shell look for need girl date night and just run the game and be hopeful that it works
a black screen okay perfect so yeah there you go now it works perfectly like a charm first bread and now pickleball this is an android port of the game so we need the game data files all right so crossy road clone has been updated to the latest version this is a very fun game and colorful game as well definitely should give it a shot save the bees is a simple puzzle game that is still in the experimental phase we'll be receiving more updates on this i'm pretty sure for now just give it a try as it looks and plays pretty awesome it's a simple looking game it uh, reminds you of the simpler times you know what i'm saying so just try it out sonic vita is a fan-made port of sonic made by bayashi this game looks and plays cool but there are some fps drops that i've experienced try overclocking your ps vitas while playing the game but still expect some fps drops here and there so yeah you just download and install the game through the Vita DB app and it's pretty straightforward experience look at this it should be going super fast like hyper fast like fast as a fuckboy kind of fast but he isn't better homebrew browser and retroflow launcher has been updated to their latest versions so if you want to update them you can just update it through the application itself through the vita db application itself katawa shujor 7 game took exactly three minutes to load up is a remaster of the original that was available in 2012 i don't know what this game is about man probably a graphic novel probably not just download and install the game and it's just good to go last but not the least we have idol miner made in game maker studio this game is kind of like a mining tycoon game where you hire workers buy mines extract and see ores get upgrades to help you progress through the game and yeah that's basically it oh yeah there's also kittens for some reason and they look cute like a cuddle bob you know what i'm saying try the fucking game out already all right so before wrapping this shit up we got space marines 2 finally released for all platforms except <laughs> the nintendo switch as expected and it's fucking awesome looking forward to playing this game i could not place the pre-order because i was too late in placing the pre-order <laughs> god damn it man fuck my life ah anyway stay tuned but still i'm gonna be getting the game i'm gonna be getting the game stay tuned for more content join me on my live stream like and subscribe for more dr brute 7 signing out peace